the defensive effort last game and getting what happened the, the, the two before that? Um, yeah, I think uh, just the overall way that we played. I think uh, guys brought a little more a little more anger, a little more, not anger, but you know what I mean, a little more edge to, to our game. Um, I think that obviously helps our, our defensive game and our overall game. Just kind of even, even offensively, I think we play more of that style with the, uh, you know, like Cool's goal in front, like a little, not, not always the prettiest thing, but grind away in front and uh, good things will happen for us. Jake, you? After the Washington game, how important it is to have kind of that snarl and that anger mm -hmm. in your game. What goes into making sure that that's there? Uh, a lot of it's preparation, I think. Uh, just getting yourself mentally and physically ready to to go play that game isn't always uh, the easiest thing to do, but that's that's your job to go out there and do that. I think uh, a team like LA is obviously one of the one of the better teams in the league. I think it's uh, obviously with the quickie added element. I think it was easy for us to get ready for that game, uh, but that's something we got to find a way to get to that level every every night. What's the challenge uh, tonight? Say just staying out of the box against a team like Toronto. Yeah, obviously a lot of uh, high-powered offensive guys. Um, It'll make you pay if they get the enough opportunities in the power play. Uh, it's same, same as five on five though. If you, you give them time and space to enter the zone, we gotta stay with that uh, tight gap, kind of in your face defense that uh, is tough to play against. You guys got to the top of the league um, a little while ago. How much, how much are you paying attention to that? I mean, how much does that mean to you to be challenging for first of all? Uh, I mean, you, you pay attention. I don't think it's the end all. Be all kind of thing in here. I think it's more of a, a long process of building how we play and just playing a consistent game of how we want to play. Um, I think the standing side will kind of take care of itself, but I mean, I'd be lying to you if it's something that we do pay attention to for sure. I think it's uh, you want to be first, and when you're when you are first or at the top of the league, you're getting everyone's best game, and that that kind of makes you uh, prepare and stay at the top of your game as well. What do you appreciate about the consistency of this group and how you've been able to to really be adaptable and flexible as the year's gone on so far? Yeah, I think uh, I mean, we've had a, a fair amount of injuries where guys have just kind of come in and picked up right where right where the last guy left off. Um, I think the coaching staff's done a good job of putting us in in the position of you can just plug a guy in and, and they. Put them in a good spot to know their know their role and their job and how we play. Um, so yeah, I think it's credit to, to the guys that have stepped in, credit to the, the coaching staff, and I think the depth that our, our team has is uh, kind of a luxury for us to, to be able to just kind of plug guys in and play at such a high level. Can continue to uh, I guess just just roll along, and no matter what kind of punches we take, just kind of bounce back and, and play our consistent game. And I think we've done a good job of uh, guys just filling in and. Getting that result. Speaking of that consistency, I'm wondering, like, could you feel like before the LA game that it, that edge was slipping? Like, could you? Is this group pretty aware of that? Edge? I think so. I think even uh, even after the Ottawa game, I don't think I mean, a little bit of a tougher schedule with that game, and then we didn't like the response in Washington, um, and so then that kind of I think heightened things of hey, we got to get back on track. You don't want this thing slipping too far. Um, and came out, and LA was a pretty I'm not gonna say boring, but pretty simple first period of just kind of staying consistent and staying patient and playing our game and building that that trust back into how we play. And over the course of a game, I think we we like our chances if we can play good defense and we'll create opportunities. Do you just think, I mean, is that a sign of a team that is aware of itself and knows what it is a veteran team to, to recognize quickly like that? Um, I think so. I mean, I think guys have been a core group of guys that are here have been here long enough to we've been in different spots and we've learned how to grow out of them go through them I think we've recognized over I mean my four five years here I think we've kind of started in a spot and we've built something where guys trust each other and know how to get out of those things and can rely on each other and hey when it's time we need to play a game here to get back on track I guess that's on the the core group and the leadership group to kind of set that tone and and make sure that everyone's kind of following along with that message of it's, it's a certain way of how things are are done here and how we perform. And I think uh, it was good good to see last game, and now we got to continue with that same trend.